hello folks hi guys we are back and we're back to do our review on our rv mattress by brooklyn betty yes we've had this for a little over nine months yeah and we're going to tell you what we think about it right uh this mattress is super super comfortable yes We've we've actually been sleeping on this mattress um, last year into this year, um, and as you can see, this mattress is still beautiful looking, and it has that cool to touch, so it keeps you cool throughout the night. Um, if you have a high body temperature and you just get hot at night, this mattress is one. To keep you cool and th matter of fact this um the mattress we got is the aurora lux hybrid am i saying that right vic yeah i believe that's right okay so um this is the one that we chose and we cannot be happier uh with this mattress it was delivered to us um and Good timing. It, it didn't take forever to get the mattress for one. And the shipping is free. The shipping is free. You have a 120 day trial period where they stand behind their product. Mm -hmm. So they give you 120 days to sleep on this mattress. And if you decide you don't want it, they give you a full refund. So that's one way to let you know that their product is well worth it and they back it up yes and it's based out of arizona yes they have a huge factory mm -hmm. um and like i said the shipping turnaround is really really quick so one thing we can say we can vouch for rv mattress by brooklyn bedding is because we actually have it in our rv mm -hmm. when we travel uh, when we're at the campground or the, or the RV resorts or wherever and we're camping, we are actually sleeping in here on this mattress. Yes. And for those who are getting, you know, your new RV, uh, the mattress that you get, those are back breakers. Because <laughs> we had one. Because <laughs> we had one. And trust me, there is such a big difference right you're gonna wonder why did i wait right because we get... waited yes we waited and um i'm we're gonna show you actually in this video what we got with our rv and then this mattress in comparison there mm -hmm. is no comparison no and we really don't understand why the uh well we kind of mm -hmm. understand yeah. I was going to say we don't understand why the RV manufacturers give you those cheap um, so-called mattresses. But then I kind of do understand, mm -hmm. you know, they is cost is cost effective and they probably figure you can go out and get your own mattress. Yes. Now, when but, you go to Brooklyn Bedding's mm -hmm. website, right. you have a choice of different sizes the thickness mm -hmm. and if you're not quite sure you give them a call right. and they will walk you through the mattress process mm -hmm. of uh, getting it as, as your size they'll ask you how you sleep they take care of everything excellent customer service yes. and um, again we can vouch for that because we dealt with them mm -hmm. um, we they walked us through the whole process all the way to setup. They sent out uh, information as to if we had any issues. So they are they're definitely on customer service. We give them a thumbs up. 
if you are in the market, you will give uh, RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding a chance. Mm -hmm. um, and we definitely think you would not be disappointed. We're going to also put um, the link with our code it is rv mattress forward slash weekend warriors we will put that direct link in the description and there with that you can get a 25 percent discount on your purchase and folks just think about this they're giving you a 120 day sleep trial mm -hmm. who else you, do you know is going to allow you to do that on a mattress right they right. stand behind their product right and uh, we're gonna put um, matter of fact right here the different sizes of mattress that they have um, they're going they also um, sell other items as well so we definitely will recommend that you click the link in the description head over to RV mattress by Brooklyn bedding and you guys will not be disappointed Yes. So I think that's it. Uh, we just wanted to give our review and uh, we hope this helps. If you were on the fence about making a decision in purchasing a RV mattress um, or you was unclear on what company to choose or wherever you whatever you had questions about, we hope we've answered your questions. Mm -hmm. You have any. So I guess right now. We can ready to go get ready for another camping trip. Yep. You ready? This is the driver here. He's our driver. I'm the driver. <laughs> and I'm what I want to do is go get some fresh linen to put on this uh, RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding so we can sleep comfortable while we're gone. Absolutely. All right. So we'll catch you guys in a few. As you enter Pike Lake State Park, you initially pass the general store and then just past the sign here you have the park office and if you can see right there this is the direction you would take to head to the uh, cottages and the group lodge so it is a beautiful day out here I love it a nice little breeze They doing something over there at the amphitheater. It's just kind of off past the park office. They having something going on over there, which we're probably not going to walk because we're going to walk the rest of the campground. I hear them over there talking. I don't know what they saying. They're singing. Oh, a singing yeah. group. Got a band over there. That's the amphitheater. And then if you guys, if you see up there. That's where your dump station is. It's not a bad park. Vic, Vic just being mean. I've been, I think we've been in some in some ones that aren't so bad, but I, I kind of like this one. Now that we got once we got here, it's not bad. Um, it it is only electric. It, once you come up out of the campground, all this you have out here. So. Not a bad place, but I think coming here just kind of ruined it for Vic. <laughs> that was just, that was the one direction. Right, so that means I could twist your arm to come back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to turn around just to give you a view from going into the campground. You walk out. out. That's That's going out the campground. So if I turn around we are now going back into the campground. And they have this nice uh, basketball court over here too. So they have things to do, Vic. Yeah. They have the disc golf. They, they have swing playground for the kids. They also have a basketball court, a full length basketball court over there. Like they that. have fishing, they have the beach. All right, guess I go over the bridge first since I'm the most scary. Y'all, y'all won't believe I am really scared right here. <laughs> I'm facing my fears. Oh my God, y'all, I'm facing my fears. I'm facing my fears and I'm scared. Y'all don't understand. Your girl is so scared of heights. It's ridiculous. 
<laughs> Woo, I made it y'all. This is the side where the beach is. Really nice over here by the beach. Very nice beach here. Beautiful views. I like it. Vic don't seem to like the campground. <laughs> but I like it. Must be something in these trees I'm allergic to. But we are over here in the kids zone. Vic's, Vic's picking all this up on his video, so I'm just doing a little bit. Uh, uh oh, Vic's sneezing too, so it must be something over here. We both sneezing. Zone. They did a good job with these picnic tables creating a game. This is a very nice area they got back here for the kids. Somebody chopping up wood. That was Vic earlier. Chopping up wood. <laughs> so yeah, very nice little area for the kids. So, see these sites over here is probably gonna give you the most space in between the sites. And one thing about it, they're not very long. So, you gotta keep that in mind, but you get a lot of space in between you and your neighbor. A lot of trees here, a lot of, sh a lot of shrubbery. There are some sites that don't have any grass. <laughs> one of them is ours. But the trade-off is we have a lot of space around us. That is the trade-off. Show the big tree down there in front of us. We gonna get there, Vic. We gonna get there. See how big that tree. So y'all see that vibe sitting down there? Y'all see G and G sitting down there all by herself, right? Look at the space that we have on that side. Yep. And there's that tree we was talking about. Vic trying to park around that tree. It's a little narrow in this area, but it is doable. It is doable if we get a good driver like this guy here. <laughs> you get a, this guy here narrow, narrowed past this tree to get G and G in our sight. And I didn't have anybody park in the cross. Mm-hmm. So yeah. The road is a little tight. And then on the other side of us, you'll see the dis distance between our neighbors on the other side. So this site, this site over here, which is site number 60, we got a lot of space on both sides. Pike Lake, if you're interested in this state park, I would definitely consider Site 60. Um, and if it don't rain like a downpour all weekend, you might be okay because there's not a lot of grass. But the site itself, we like it. Not bad. So, all right, guys, you stay tuned. We're going back in. 
relax from this long walk and we'll catch you guys in a few are fired and burn out so until later we'll catch you guys in a few hey everybody what's up warrior nation welcome back to the channel guys welcome back we've come to the end of another camping trip crazy camping trip yep so like you saw in the beginning we had the issue with the what is a step up, step, step down, down, step down plug? Then Vic found it. And I found it. Oh my god! So goodness. now we got a spare. We got a spare. But we just wanted to recap our time here at Pike Lake, in uh, where is this at? Um, Bainbridge, Ohio. And yes, it's like south of Columbus. Mm -hmm. Would that be correct? That is correct. Okay, so. Um, in the end, we're going to share some more pics with you. It is really beautiful here. But getting here was a little tricky because there was three ways. Was it three ways? Two ways to get here. Mm -hmm. If you're coming from Columbus, 104, do not take 104. Because 104 is going to take you in. Your GPS is going to t take you into these back roads. Mm. And it was crazy. It right. was crazy. Yeah. The other way from Columbus, this is just from Columbus, Ohio. Get on 23 South. That's the way we're heading back. Those are the two directions. Mm. Okay. So. Well, each way is still a little hilly, right? Because when we left. No. No? It's less, less hills 23 compared to 104 because 104 was crazy twist and... We actually had to stop because when we was coming up, there was an RV coming down. Mm. So we actually had to stop and we couldn't pull too far over because there was a little drop. So right. we don't have to worry about that heading back to 23. Right. The trip here, since we've been here, is pretty, pretty nice. The camp store slash general store is not bad. It has not everything bad. in it that you need. Um, the view, the beach was nice very nice the beach, the beach was nice all the sites are electric all um, the sites are electric yes and they only have one dump station one dump station so be prepared to wait um, one dump station and it's not a very big park it, yes and they got some nice cabins I don't know if this is one but no no that's not a cabin there's four that I see, and there's one huge one that has a like a wraparound deck at the back of it. So, you know. right. So they have uh, cabins, electric campsites. They have a basketball court. Um, you can fish. Mm -hmm. um, they have paddle boats. They, uh, they got hiking trails. Hiking trails. We didn't take our bike out because we wanted to get some walking in. Cause that's something we don't do a lot of. And the fact that our campsite was, was sitting up was, high, yeah, was sitting then, up and high. the ground dipped down, yes. so it was like we would be standing low, trying to lift the bikes up off of the rack. Yes. Which we figure a day we can walk it, so that's what we did. Mm -hmm. But um, it's one of the state parks here in Ohio that we have not visited before. Mm -hmm. And I think that it's a nice uh, state park. It's not very big. Um, 70, no, 80 sites. I think it said 80 sites. 80 sites. Yeah. And, uh, but the, the bigger issue was just getting here. And I think that's because we took the wrong, uh, another direction. Lots of kids. Well, that's this only is, because it probably was a lot a of kids. Camp. This is a family oriented park. So there were kids running around everywhere. So mm. be extremely careful if you come here, uh, pulling in mm -hmm. or leaving. Right. Be extremely careful. Careful. Yeah. So we're uh, waiting our turn at the station. <laughs> um, and we're okay. So. You say you wouldn't come back here. No, I, I wouldn't come back. Vic wouldn't want to come back. It's a nice park. Mm-hmm. 
and we visited, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't want to come back. Yeah, we were trying to knock. We're trying to knock off some of the state parks here in Ohio that we had never visited before, <clears throat> and this is one that we had on the list. So, like you said, we visited and we saw. So we're going on to something else that we haven't visited before. But yep. next week we're going somewhere where we did visit. Winton Wood. Winton Woods. Now Cincinnati. we in Cincinnati. Now we like Winton Woods, and I want to go back there because they have a nice bike trail. Mm -hmm. So hopefully we're gonna get uh, decent weather, and we can ride our bikes while we're there. Yep. So by the time you see this video, we will have already been to Winton Woods. Yep. Cause um, yeah, it's we in the queue. We, we got videos in the queue, y'all. So you may see pictures and then you may see a different video. We just going to mix it up for y'all a little bit. Keep y'all on y'all's toes. See if y'all paying attention to what the Real Weekend Warriors are doing. That's just what we do. We're going to send out different types of videos and mix it up a little bit for y'all. But anyway, we're, um, we're up next at the station. We're going to wrap up the video. Um... We, I mean, it's not a bad park. So yeah, if you want to get a chance to check it out, check it out. Uh, after that, we're heading to Winton Woods, like we said, and we're getting ready to get out of here today. It's the rain is coming. Vic want to beat the rain. So I think that's all we have. That's it. That's it. Guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. Come on along and hang out with Warrior Nation and just hang out with us. So, uh, join, join our memberships. We have perks in the memberships. So consider uh, joining one of our memberships. And I think that's it for today. Yep. So, all right, people out here blowing on. We don't know what's going Blowing. But anyway, all right, guys. <laughs> I I'll tell you about it later. I'm Vic. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm Vic. And I'm Corinne. And, and we, we are, are the Real Weekend Warriors. Warriors.